An absolute breakdown, Stephen, and it's just underscoring the tragedy that's hit this community. <laughs> Sobbing uncontrollably, 20-year-old Mitchell Young can barely enter a plea at his arraignment today. Young and 19-year-old Tucker Cipriano are charged with multiple counts of murder in connection with the attack that killed Bob Cipriano and left his wife, Rose, and son, Sal, in critical condition. <laughs> Guards force Young to answer the judge. Tucker Cipriano showed no emotion as he answered charges that he killed his own father and left his mother and brother to die. How did you wish to plead to the charges? Um, not guilty. Tucker, no stranger to the courtroom with a lengthy record of drug charges, admits he missed a meeting with his probation officer. I didn't show up to my last probation meeting, but I was talking to my probation officer about that meeting. Police say Tucker and Mitchell went to the Cipriano home in Farmington Hills early Monday morning looking for money. Investigators claim the two friends beat Bob to death with a bat and continued the attack on Tucker's mom, Rose, and brother, Sal. Police believe one or both of the men were high on synthetic marijuana. I've seen people have bad experiences with it, but I've never seen it taken anything like that. Everybody's making the kid out to be a crackhead. I never saw him like that. I was with him a couple weeks before. He was never like that to me. A family friend says Tucker never came to terms with being adopted. I mean, he really needed counseling. He really did. He needs help. Tucker's a good man. Not even a man. He's a good kid. A lot of kids came to me the same day and said he was on that spice. That spice and the government needs to get it off the streets. And that spice is also known as K2, and you can buy it in gas stations and in party stores. As for the two men, they are being held without bond. Next up is their preliminary examination. Stephen.